Let me get this real quick. Let me get this real quick, and then I'll, I'll give it to you. Kindreds. Let me get the look at the word Kindreds. Revelation 7. It says. That's why I said all Kindreds. Wait for it. It says a tribe. And in, in the New Testament, all the persons descended from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. Jacob. There you go. That's it. Now, now, who was Titus? Wait. Was Titus? I just, I just read it. Help me understand how. He already said Job wasn't Israelite. I don't know where it says every nation from all tribes I just and read people. It. I just read it. What are you talking about? And dude? languages. It's, so what's a nation? You talking about? I'm lying. Look at that. Is that? Is that? Is that? Does, does it say that right there? Doesn't God only judge every nation? That's why Paul he, said he, he warned only nations. Israelite nations first, can be saved. I answer your you, question. Right? First, you answer my question, and then I answer yours. You answer this question. What does that mean? What, it's a little what is dark. What? It says in the New Testament, all the persons descended from one. The 12 sons of the tribe of Jacob. I mean, wait, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's not all tribe means. Dude, that's I, not the only definition of tribe. It's a, a tribe, a nation, of people. <laughs> it's 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 all tribes and people. Didn't we say, didn't we say, hey, that tells you clearly since it says all tribes and people, it's talking about more than Israelites. It says in the New Testament. That was too easy. What? No, in the context. In context. Yeah, context. C -X -T. C -X -T. What, what, what is, what is text? written on the 12 gates of the New Jerusalem? The names. Names of who? The 12. We all know that. So where they at? What do you mean where are they at? Where are they at? It's, it, the Israel is so important. Where are they at? I Where's the one? Israel. Oh, the new Israel is all those who are in Christ. Galatians okay. chapter 3. Now, so what's Titus and Timothy? Well, so now we're leaving. No, no, Roman, no. Revelation, what? though. No. And we still have never dealt with Ephesians 2. Well, We've still, never dealt with Ephesians 2. Because my man <laughs> claim that well, well, you didn't deal one with new it. man. Because it said common with the Israel. You want to get No, I didn't want to leave it. You left it by going somewhere else. All right, because I want to talk about something. I want to talk about something you said last week before we get out of here. And I tried to do all kinds of things. So last deal with Ephesians 2, though? Well, we get back to it. I promise you. We can do that next. money here and there. Did all kinds of things. Last week, you said what? The Titus. And you Timothy know, were Helens, right? What does the scripture say they were? They're halves. Yes. Were they Hellenistes or Helens? Uh, no matter what. Hellenist or Hel what the no Greek? It just says Greek. Wait, Helen. Right? It says they're Greek. Well, let me look it up. Let me look, look it, up. it up. Let's look it up in the original language. I already know. So I already know asking. it says Helen. What's the text you're going to refer to? I'm about to get John. So you're going to John? Yeah. But Titus isn't mentioned in John. Yes, he is. I'm about to prove it. Look, well, wait, I thought you were talking about Titus. Why we are. John? It's Titus right here. Listen. You got to understand what it means, John. Yes, he is. He John 17 and 33. What's what's mean and then Yahweh Shai said unto them, happening? Listen, and yet a little spirit. while okay. I am well, with what's you. What do you mean by that? And then I go, he gonna go? Uh, listen, listen, go deeper than that. When you go and I go unto him to send me. He shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, thither you cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that he shall not find them? Will he go to the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? You look at word Gentiles over in Greek. It says the Helen. It says the dispersed among the Helen. So Titus was one of them dispersed among the Helen. Now, where is Titus from? When you become a new man, according to Christian tradition, when you become a new man, think of. I don't know. I know Greek? Was he from Greek? Greek? So, he was from Greek, right? Bible. That's why it creates According to Christian tradition, the Bible don't say. Now, that's why when you read the book of Titus, what does it say? That's why when you read the book of Titus, what does it say? What do you repeat? Right. And now he was talking to, to, to Titus, who was on Crete, and he was talking about other people living on Crete, and this is what they said. For there are many unruly and vain talkers. Is the transgressions of yeah. the down. You see what I'm saying? Step down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his law. And we got to keep aware. I'm trying to get his point out real quick. Go ahead, man. Listen. It's going to tell you about the Israelites who was living in the, uh, among the Gentiles. But look. Titus. Let me show you something. One in ten. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially of the circumcision. Now, why would it say that? Especially of the circumcision. Because, it, it, because there was large groups of Jews living on Crete. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So there's a Jewish presence. We know that according to Josephus. Okay. I think Philo. So the circumcised were the people who knew they were Jews. And the uncircumcised would be the Israelites who didn't know they were Jews, or they knew they were Jews. Now you just made no, no, I know I didn't. So the first part you were right. I just read John. The book of John said that the Jews knew that there were Israelites dispersed among the hell. I understand. Instead of being vague, let's be specific. Titus chapter two, verse two. I went up because of revelation. And set before them, though Bible even what you say. The gospel that I proclaim among the Gentiles, in order to make sure I was not running or had not run in vain. But even Titus, who was with me, was not for.
forced to be circumcised, though he was a Greek. It says Helen. And, right. I, and I just right. read in John where, the, where it man, the tells you that there was Jews the dispersed Lord among Helens and being called Helens. So look, I got, I'm got. i going to get a definition of Greek. It doesn't say they were being called Helens. I, I'm gonna you get, just read that into that. No, look. Yes, it did. It doesn't say they were called It says that the Helens. So that's what you mean. No, it they were Hellenists, that. yeah. No, it's not. Is no, word. it said Helen, not Helen these days. Helen these days. So you in the Greek. No. Since we disagree. Look up John 7. I'm going to show you where Helen these days appears. It's not in John 7. I can't deal with you right now. John 7 says Hellenics. It's in Acts 7, though. Hel Hellenistes, I'm going to get the defi definition, bro. Look, this is out of the uh, the New Bible Dictionary. Okay. But you understand, regardless of what happens here, the Bible just said he proclaimed his gospel among Gentiles, and then the Bible just said he was a Greek who did not have to be circumcised. Hey, let me ask you this. you got to keep the law law. Why did he have to be circumcised? So when he said the firmament was open... So when he said the firmament was if open, if you have to be, you don't have Israelites not even keeping the law. So why did Paul say I didn't compel him to be circumcised? Because the law, you don't get saved by the law. That's why we. You, you're saved by your faith, and that's so it. Okay, so why do you guys proclaim keeping the law? Because the law is good. So should Titus Europe? have been circumcised? So we're supposed to live in anarchy and total law. I didn't say that. I'm asking. Well then, you answered your own question. Why didn't Paul make Titus get circumcised? Because I just told you, you're saved by your faith. I mean, okay, all, you're actually right. So that means you don't have to keep the law to be saved. No, you. the law is good, but the law don't save you. What, he's a grown-ass man. You want to go get the chopper? That's, that's actually what they did when they converted. Yes. Start cutting his dick up when he's an old man? That's what they did. I know this. That's gruesome. That, that's a little different than the other laws. But, you think? but he, he doesn't say what you said. He said this. Yet because of false brothers secretly no brought in who slipped into somebody out of our freedom that we have See, in Christ Jesus so that they may not bring saying. us into slavery. That's we, a problem. Y'all are just like these cats. You want to right. put no, people in slavery. No, that's just like IUIC teach that you don't get saved by the law. That's what has, you don't get saved by the law. We never said you get saved by keeping the law. When did we but ever say that? The thing is what I'm showing you is that it says the reason is because he doesn't want to be put back in bondage of the law and be put back in slavery. Right? What did Paul say about him of the law? Now watch this. Paul Romans 3 and 31. He was blameless saved. according to but the law. But he also says he was keeping the Romans 3 and 1, 31. Keep it perfect, but exactly, so he's not literally blameless even though he is saying Romans 3 and 31. I better than those of the Pharisees. He said, though he says I'm the chief of all sinners. So he's telling me the Lord himself ate pork, bro. Here a little Oh, seriously, doubt that. Well then, thank you. He was a God-fearing Old Covenant bringing in the New Covenant Israelite Jewish man living in the first century. Well, I seriously doubt they, they, Don't you think that he set the example that we should follow? Revelation. Oh, so you go to do the temple that never sat. You must be saved. Actually, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to worship on the Sabbath. You pay your temple tax? You're supposed, you're supposed to give worship the You give me a tithe? And being reborn Listen, again is to I don't believe the concept of tithe. It's not of the New Covenant. There's offerings and generosity. Listen, why do Paul get tithes? I mean, he, well, well, he, I'm not no, worried about time. Money. Listen, no, he collected an offering. It doesn't say he collected tithes. Let's get back on track. We gotta get our, we gotta get our words straight. Back, back on track. Back to the heaven. Hold on. No, hold on. That's Creflo Dollar speaking peace. right there. Hold your peace. Listen. We're not baptized with water Greek. This, this is, is the definition of Greeks in the Bible. They got shit and piss in. Hold on. Let me get his definition now. So we can get this understanding. Water ain't going. You can splash water on everybody and say, in the blood of Jesus Christ, you knew again. I don't know what that no. They don't believe in water baptism. Uh, but it has nothing to do with It's salvation. too much confusion, what man. What you're talking about has nothing to do with salvation. Amen. This does? It Amen. does? You want, you want to go see, the, the thing up? is, people are starting to see yeah. through y'all, man. But the thing is, I mean, I'm not so? doing that in a mean I way. See. I just mean that's, there's more and more more Christians. But you ain't going to be able to get to be converted. You should check out the comment board of that video. But I didn't come Oh, I see. You guys got a little echo chamber. I ain't worried about that. I came out. That's why we're That's what your people got an echo chamber, right? That, no, we're out here. It's just that you must be born again. Right. So it's not that. We agree with that. This stuff that. here, we agree with this that. Has Where's the gospel on your side? Okay. That's exactly what he's saying. Okay. That is yeah. the gospel. Where's the gospel on their side? Right. Goodbye. 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 Okay, Goodbye. okay. so you're going to be destroyed okay. by this then? You're going to be destroyed by this then? No, because you're bringing confusion. I'm trying to keep speaking the truth. No, I'm over here on one topic and you're bringing up another topic. That's a wonderful one. That's confusing. I'm bringing up salvation. If you could be quiet This is salvation. It's not salvation. Okay, you going to get burned the fuck up? That's what you want to do? You want to get burned? You want to get burned up? He says, do you want to get burned the fuck up? He said, do you want to get burned the fuck up? God bless all of you, Goodbye. Hey, Urban Apologetics. Yo, man. Look, he's trying to advertise your shit, man. Y'all need to get some more confusion. 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 Y'all Right, you learn it. Send back the Can you see the confusion though? Everybody yelling and talking. That's not good. That's out of order. Right. The Lord ain't with that. You know what I mean? 
Like vocab, he always over talking people, won't let people finish sentences. Don't answer the question. Won't answer, he'll run around the question. Yeah, he, he down there trying to. Look at this son, boy. Got like he found the sight line. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna get this definition in case that camera dies. I'm gonna read it twice for vocab. Now look, I'm gonna read the definition of Greek in the Bible uh, dictionary. Uh, it says two words. It says two words are used with reference with Greeks in the New Testament. Helens and Hellenistai. Right. The scriptures say Helen is what Titus and Timothy were called Helens. Okay. The other Greeks spoke over Hellenistes, right? The term Helens refers to the inhabitants of Greece and their descendants, but is also used as the virtual equivalent of Gentile to describe those not of Jewish origin. But listen, it, it goes further. The term Hellenistai is a crux. crux. It is confined to Acts 6, where it reads Hellenist, and has a very reading though, Hellenist. Uh, Moore points out, this is going to some scholar, that the objection to the traditional interpretation of Hellenistai as Greek-speaking Jews is that Paul, who spoke Greek, called himself Hebraos, which is in contrast to Hellenistai. He therefore possess, possesses that, hold up, pay attention. That Jews who only spoke Greek, let them guys go, man. I know, I'm just. They gotta get distracted. Too. Showing the sign. Well, he always been distracted. The whole time he was out here. Right. He's a, you weren't trying to hear it any fucking The hell with vocab. I'm just in front of the camera. I'm trying to get this point out. Satan keep trying we'll to stop it. We gotta stay on point. Listen. He therefore uh, proposes. Listen. The, the Hellenista, he therefore proposes Jews who only spoke Greek as the meaning for Hellenistai and Jews who while able to speak Greek knew a Semitic language also the meaning of Hebraeo but listen this is the point listen to this now in uh this guy his name is J.A.T. Robinson he wrote a book called The Destination of Purpose of St. John's Gospel in the 12 Testament Studies from 1962 on page 107 and he says this the goddamn bus is Satan these bitches are Satan Vocab Malone's fucking Satan. You're Satan. <laughs> I hope all y'all get destroyed. I really do, bro. They will. Listen. Now this guy, he said, Hellenistai is here interpreted as Greek-speaking Jews of the diaspora living in Palestine as opposed to the Hellens, Greek-speaking Jews who live beyond Palestine. So the scripture said Titus and Timothy were Hellens. And, the, and this dictionary tells you that Helens was a uh, Greek-speaking Jews who lived beyond Palestine. And they didn't know they was Israelites. That's why Paul Wynn was teaching them. But your boy Satan carried the vocab away. Thank God. Vocab is Satan. Hope he never do that again. The Lord gonna get you, vocab. He gonna get you, man. He didn't answer a single question. Not one. Not one. He can't one. answer the Commonwealth of Israel. He can't answer about why the scriptures say the Gentiles were dispersed among the Gentiles. He come back. This he come this nigga again. Hey, let me read it. Let me read something for you, bro. Oh, this is the man. Bible dictionary, and it says the scholar J. A. T. Robinson wrote a book, "The Destination of Purpose of St. John's Gospel, Twelve New Testament Studies, 1962." I know Robinson. Page. Oh, you know, that's my dude, right? He's dead now, but man, great guy, right? Page. Uh, page 107. Listen. Listen. He says, Hellenistai here is interpreted as Greek-speaking Jews of the diaspora living in Palestine. Yes, that's what it means. As opposed to Helens, Greek-speaking Jews who live beyond Palestine. <laughs> yeah. Explain. So Titus, that, no, you Timothy's called a Helen. I don't think you understand. <laughs> that Helen. Proves, no, that proves the point. No, it proves that, my point. No, what it proves You said that. Timothy was not an Israelite. No, no, no. Was He's Timothy half. <laughs> his what? father was a Greek. The Bible says it. His father what? was a Hellen. His father He's was a Hellen. Okay. He was about. an Israelite who was scattered among the Jew, uh, the Greeks. He was an Israelite. He worshipped Zeus, worshipped Apollo, but his you lineage. You know all that. It says he was a Hellen. You know what's good? Let me ask. Who was Hellen? He could have been who, a god fever. Who? Where does the name Helen come from? That's a Greek thing, but it, that doesn't mean everyone who has that. Okay. Is well, therefore, an idol. But who is Helen? The progenitor, the so-called, the, the fictitional progenitor of the Greeks, right? 
but his father was the Kalyan. Who was the Kalyan? Was the Greek version of Noah, which is going back to the tradition of the Israelites. Okay, that's why the, the Hellens had the 12 Titans, the 12 labors of Her Heracles. That go back to the 12 tribes of Israel, bro. Why would they have 12 Titans? Go guy. back to the 12 tribes lots of, of Israel. Lots of religions had 12 this and that. They could go back to Israel. It all go all low <laughs> roads don't lead to Rome. They lead to Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read this again. But that doesn't really. I don't see how that proves your your version. It does. Of the gospel. It proves you're gonna be destroyed. Because this Bible says it, Timothy's a Helen. It proves you got a missile coming. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Right, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't repent, the going to destroy you. Look, you're going to get one of them missiles. You're going to get you a tow pole. You're going to get you a... What, what, what one do you think you're going to get? A tow pole. You're going to get a tow pole. Or the, or the DF Kong, the, the, the Chinese the version one. Say, he's the missile the expert in the group. <laughs> I got my the stuff Iskander. Is there a the Iskander. The Iskander. It looks like his name is Iskander. Who <laughs> the gospel no. of GMS? At Bo oh, Iskander. That's not one that wouldn't be a GMS. It's in the Bible, though. Hey, so what are you talking about? That's George Zimmerman's little brother. Who's the expert on reincarnation out of y'all? All of us. 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 Right, He's right, saying right, reincarnation right. not in the Bible. Of course not. That's is reincarnation right. in the Bible? The, Bible, the no. pagans believe them. Oh, so how did Elijah come back? So the coffers were pagans now. Really? 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 It says, if you receive this, this is Elijah. So how are you going, how is a John the Baptist be called Elijah? <laughs> Someone being resurrected from the dead does not equal reincarnation. Oh, come on, for, for hundreds hundred of years, bro. Resurrection. Yeah. For hundred, how, same thing. thing. Same Waiting for like hundred years or something resurrection, like that. Resurrection, reincarnation, Hey, my man, I have something to say to y'all, though, I think. I, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to walk away. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. 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 Well, the Lord rebukes you in the name of Yahweh Bush Shemi Al Shah. In the name of Yahweh Bush Shemi In the name of Yahweh Bush Shemi Al Shah. He's going to eat. Hey. You want a pit bull going to eat you. What's up? A pit bull going to eat you. Yeah, man. A pit bull going to eat all that meat off of him. Look at this dumbass. Red Card is why he's laying there bleeding to death. A missile going to eat you. He's too religious, man. Okay. Yeah, he said you can eat poor. I got a scripture for you. It's a twofer. I got a twofer for you. Hebrews 9 27. I got a twofer. What's up, man? Hey, see, you <laughs> guys, men are lived to die once. We know that. Yeah. Hey, you guys teach Jesus to Saul and the reincarnated, right? Yes, sir. So then Jesus was a sinner according to your whack theology. Of course. The, the scripture said he. Yeah, said, Jesus oh, let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. God? Let me answer. No, let me answer. Thing. The scripture says. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, they bit hold up, hold up. idea about the North American Indians being Israelites. They stole it from Mormonism. Oh, and now they teach Y'all stole that from the Bible, man. You're an elder, bro. You're an elder. You're an elder. How old is you? How old is you? Elder. 20. And you're an elder? How, how, how long you been in the truth or whatever? They also stole polygamy and they teach. How long you been in Mormonism? That's in the Bible. Uh, yeah. well, That's the only life. thing you yeah. guys got. For your life? Yeah. No. Okay. That's it. I don't know how. I don't know how women. Y'all probably got a polyg. Elder Silly. How you say your name? Elder Silly. Yeah. Silly. Ah. Silly. Silly. What's Rinker Hot? Y'all been having some weird names though. Silly. That's tight, don't it? Rinker Hot. Yeah. Not really. It's not for Esau. So it's not for Esau. You know, the Church of Mormon. You know, the leaders of the church. They, they, they know that they're like experts in genealogies and they can prove that you're Edomites. You know that, right? Edomites. They're Edomites. Hebrew, you know Esau. We're, we are, yeah. that's your, we that's your granddad. are on the other side, Israelites. Y'all Edomites. We are the biblical Israelites. That's what Don't turn sideways like that. Screw it all up. So what is it that you're Oh, shit. Which one was straight? Oh, it's sideways. Oh, it's sideways. Yeah. So I did? Uh, that's what we just heard the video. That's salvation. That's the good news. That's the gospel. The white man, so-called white man, the red man. Let me show you what the Bible said about you. You have no pigmentation. Oh, yeah. Your blood shows through your skin. That's how we know who, who, who each character is in the Bible. Okay. Actually, the, the good guy and the bad guy. You're, you rep, you, got, you guys represent the bad guy. It might be some. I know. I get. I don't should we even say that. Steve Young oh, might. Yeah, yeah. Steve Young might be an Israelite. Which Steve Young? Steve Young football player. Oh, that's definitely Israel. He is, so he comes from Brigham Young. Right, so. Right. Well, you know these women commit adultery. They could commit adultery. <laughs> so there's some question marks there. <laughs> I know y'all. So they flavor. So they Israelite flavor. Had to get some psycho. Oh yeah, but Steve Young. What? What's? You know Steve Young is. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. Right. He's a. He's one of us. Right. No okay. take y'all people. Hate you, man. Hate you. Actually, everybody in the world hates y'all, man. Look, the whole earth hates y'all. Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And you're biblical Edomites. 
So God don't love everybody. Who is Esau? You know who Esau is? Yeah. He's the progenitor of who? What? He's the progenitor of who? The Edomites. Sure. Okay. The Edomites. The Edomites. He's the father that started the nation of Edom. And then, then they okay. started the Church of Mormon. Right, right. <laughs> That's what Esau does, still bits and pieces. That's why the, the Church of Mormon is obsessed with genealogy. Mm -hmm. They got the biggest genealogy records in the world. Yeah. You want to know why? Because they're Edomites. Why? And they're trying to find a way out. Like, we're going to yep. find a missing Only link. Edom can do that. Only Edom. Yep. <laughs> we can show you the real reason why. Okay, well, didn't the Bible say avoid endless genealogy? <laughs> English What's your answer, sir? Endless. Titus, read the book. Let me get it. Book Titus. Uh, get I, it. I want to hear this real quick. Ahead, real quick. Real quick. Okay, so we know that from the Bible that we're all supposed to be baptized. Speak just like you <laughs> Be baptized <laughs> to and then he goes receive his children. salvation. Eat his children. Eat his children. Man, we've been dealing with vocab all 